bottom. All right, narrate. She picks up two caps. Act like she, look, move one, pick one up. A black man, okay? But they just not doing it. They're not putting in any effort. Ask me where I'm going. Don't ask me about my location. Don't ask me where I'm going to be. I don't do that. That's weird. Sometimes trying to be slick doesn't go quite as planned, especially when you get caught in the act. Today we got videos of women that think that they're getting away with everything until they get exposed by their husbands or boyfriends. I don't want to hold you. Go ahead and hit that like button. Definitely share the video. This is your first time watching. Watch the entire video and subscribe at the end. Let's get to it. Look at this. This girl acting crazy, man. Bitch, I bet it's crazy. No, nah, yeah. Okay. Oh, she, oh, she just do what? Oh, uh, she wilding. I'm not opening this door. This bitch be crazy. Look at this, bro. This Christmas. Oh shit! Oh shit! Guys, a heads up: never argue with a woman or expose her while you are in your car. The first thing that women love to do when it comes to cars is scratch them up and bust out windows. Ask me where I'm going. Don't ask me about my location. Don't ask me where I'm going to be. I don't do that. That's weird. That is weird. Like, stop. Stop pressing me. Stop worrying about that. What are you acting like you got to know where I am? For like your own like insecurity or something. Insecurity, bro. It's called respect. God Where's my wife? Where do you bro? think I could be? I'm uh, going out wherever so I'm going to be. I'm going to be in my skin. That's where I'm going to no be. No thing is open at 4 a.m. besides legs. Where are you gonna be at 4 a.m.? Oh, really? I'm so just that's, saying, I ain't that's, that's I mean, what like, if the shoe fit, God damn it, put your sock on. Because at the end of the day, you ain't supposed to be out till 4 a.m. doing nothing. Supposed to. What is that's open? Where you're having damn it, stuff. even Walmart don't open that late no more. What are you doing okay, out at 4 a.m.? I'm going to Walmart. So, where are you going at 3, 4 a.m.? It's my business. I'm God not telling it. you that. I don't have to tell well, you. When we got that. married, half of what's yours is half of mine. Smart. My business is your business. We live in America. I am self made, I am independent. I don't have to listen to you because you're not my father. So don't do that. Don't ask me where I'm finna go. It's my business and I'm going. Watch the kids and watch me walk out. And they wondering why men don't want to be with them. It's because when you start acting like this, this is an alpha trait. This is a headache to a man. But women think that men are supposed to go through the headaches and adjust to all their mood swings, give them all their freedom, let them be free, and then give them love whenever they want it. It doesn't work like that, ladies. You're really messing your life up in modern day time. Black men, okay? But they just not doing it. They're not putting in any effort. Marvin, you came in hot. They're not giving the effort that we need. I was walking in the mall and this Italian guy approached me. That's different for me. 30 minutes later, I was like, I'm going to Eddie B's to have lunch. I mean, dinner or whatever. And he's like, okay, well, we can go together. We went to two spots. So we went to Eddie B's. I got my doggy bag. So we ended up going to a hookah lounge and we were just honestly just vibing but for me it was just his approach it was different from what i'm used to with an african-american man it's all the texting back and forth the calling the this the that he was very respectful okay he didn't try to kiss me hug me and he came in hot it's given black men do not stand a chance and I would like to be in my feminine energy. Although I'm in law school and I plan to make my own money, I still want a man to allow me to be very feminine. And, and they just don't do it for, I don't know. Are we dating the same kind of black men? Like all the black men you've dated, do they hang out at the same spot? Do they have the same lifestyle? So I'm from Florida. I've always been attracted to men from the South. I, I always wear braids. Once I changed- Florida black dudes are a little bit different. Most of them dudes stay hood their entire life. The straight hair, the looks that I get from other races is like, it's crazy. I, all different type of races are just, look, they're turning their heads. My mom said, get straight hair. The change that I've seen and the type of men that are looking my way is completely different. Here's a wake up call to most black women out there. You're not going to see a straight hair black woman with a successful Italian or white dude. They would date you for a little bit because they're curious about sex. They look at black women as being hypersexual women. And you think you feel special when they are approaching you, but you will notice after they clap them cheeks a couple times, all of a sudden they're going to start acting different. You don't see successful, independent black women with straight hair married to successful Italian, white, white and other races of men. You don't see it. They literally want to clap your cheeks and send you 
back home. Why? Because you're not going to fit in with their family and they don't want to come around yours and fit in with all the dysfunctionality. Why do they think that you from a dysfunctional home? Because it was easy for them to get you. See, you take a black woman that has a successful background. She's been around a lot of successful black men. She don't even want to look at a white dude. But when you take a black woman who's been around a whole bunch of bummy dudes and she's smarter than the average person around her, she feels like she qualifies for these white dudes who only want to sleep with her. At the end of the day, you never end up marrying them. You just end up giving it up and they end up leaving you alone. I showed up for you. It does matter. You're my best friend. You still yet have not brought a gift. Everybody else around the table brought a gift but you. That's embarrassing. But listen, I st I came. I'm behind on my car no, baby girl. I didn't have the money this year, but I came for you. When I had the money, I'm going to get you something. Every birthday for yours, no matter what situation I came through, without without question, none of that. You, you, that you, you have no Yes, I'm going to throw that in your face because why didn't you bring fact. any gifts? What matter? I showed up for you. It does matter. You're my best friend. You still yet have not brought a gift. Everybody else around the table brought a gift but you. That's embarrassing. But listen, I st I came. I'm behind on my car. That man being smart, if you ask me, he's not about to spend money on a woman and he still got bills to pay in order for him to stay alive. At some point, your birthday is not more important than survival. Get in the comments and let me know what you think about that situation. I didn't touch you, man. Well, no one did that. Okay. Just, Surprise. Yeah, you won't go away. You're in, I need to leave? No, no, no. Just no I still got, okay. Let's Come let's on, stuff. Okay. You know, just just you hell if I know. I'm so sorry. Not, not sorry. Well, she wasn't <laughs> sorry when she cut in line. I didn't see you. To make it. Oh, well, I just asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just go, please. Just go. That's please. an adult. Let's just I'm just you. talking. Walk up to Walk with Chris. Why does the man have to be the bad guy every time a woman is inconvenienced in her emotions and can't handle the scenario that she's in? Why the man always has to correct himself? That's why I love about this new generation and the direction that we're going. Ladies, at some point, you getting out here acting like this is going to get your lips busted up. Not by men, but by other women around you that's getting tired of you being overly dramatic for some attention. That's all it is. It's just sad, lonely people in public not knowing how to handle being around other people. All right, narrate. She picks up two caps. Act like she, look, move one, pick one up, tuck that. Move this one. What is that? What was that? She, she put it up. She got a bag. What's do with the She put them both in there. Who right there? Nobody. And nobody at the window. She is doing it all under the thing. Right. That's right. She put the weed in the shit. Look. What is she doing right there? What is that? Oh, look. Oh! oh. So it looks like she was working at a marijuana dispensary and she stole an eighth and put back an empty container. Not knowing that in these dispensaries, there are cameras everywhere. Why? Because they can't afford a thief. Everybody is making money. One thing about it, LeBron James is going to recognize me at a game every single time. Come to this game with me and see if I'm tripping. My seat was right next to where he sits on the bench. But I don't think he noticed me right here because I have my glasses on. So I took them off. And y'all, look. Am I tripping? Y'all, look. Did he not just stare in my eyes? I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. You tripping because you're putting yourself in position to look at him. And then you're staring at him. People can feel people staring at them. That's the only thing that's happening. You shouldn't flatter yourself thinking that you're important. You have to realize he has children that are more famous than you. His children are famous and he has a good wife. It's always the single thoughts that think people in relationships want them, but you're just doing the most to grab their attention. <laughs> A few moments later.
And this is what happens when the thought bots get some of that good D and they stumbling out. They don't want to do it no more. They've been ran through. This is why you can't deal with modern women. They run out there and put themselves in positions like this. And then you got to come in be and behind them, clearing all their trauma. Excuse me? You're so beautiful. Yeah, what's your name? Cameron. Sabrina, nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from San Diego. What about you? Where are you from? I'm from here. Oh, born and raised? Nice. You ever get out of Vegas? I'm about to go to Bobby Cosmo. Yeah, how can I contact you? Whatever. Women like that know how to spot a sucker. When they sound like a nerd that ain't never been out the house before, it's just bullseye for women for the streets because these are the type of dudes that's been sitting at home pleasing themselves, hypnotizing themselves into liking that type of woman. Well, I recently transitioned to being a guy and I uh, had a doctor's appointment recently. That doctor said I was pregnant. Doesn't make any sense because I'm obviously a guy. So I'm going to a second doctor now to get a second opinion and uh, keep you guys updated. Really? Thank you. You are six weeks pregnant. That's not possible. I'm a man. You became Dylan. Um, Tasha must have had a relation in order to become pregnant. Well, she did, and then I became a man. Well, now that you are a man, you're going to have to jump back in a position as a woman and become a mother. Nope. I'm not going to be a mother, and I'm not pregnant. That doesn't make any sense. How can a man be pregnant? Well, before your transition, things like that just don't go away. Like I said, when you transition, that doesn't just go away. How is a man pregnant? That doesn't make any sense. Well, well technically, you're not a man. I am a man. I'm sorry to inform you. You have woman body parts and you, wise, yes. and you can give birth and you can. How dare you? Where is your bedside manner? I tried to have bedside manners and I tried to tell you as a doctor that we have been going over the charts and thanks that you are six weeks pregnant. How would I look walking around as a pregnant man? Do you know the ridicule I would face? Go back over to Tasha then. This is the mental illness that we have to deal with in society. But unfortunately, all of that is getting ready to come to an end because our new president says you can only identify as a man or a woman based off of your biological sex. Yeah, we got an intruder. A we have an intruder, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We have an intruder in the house. I've been here for six months. And you in my house? Stop. You in my house? Please stop somebody. Please. You in my house? Please, yeah. please, please. I'm, I'm here. Stop. Yeah. Go get to my house. Yeah. No, he did not. What is she protecting the side dude for when the husband comes home? Yeah, yeah, I live here. He in my house. We have an intruder. His name is Elijah. His name is Elijah. Yes. Come on, go talk about it. Look at him. Look. She's got the fair face. Please send somebody. Get my phone, bro. It's in your. Give me that. Help somebody, please. Come get the fair face. Yeah. Oh, I live here. No, please. I live here. When it's over, it's over. There's no point of sitting around holding on to long lost love. That's where people make their mistake. You have to understand, being in love is the same as taking drugs. Whenever you get addicted to being around someone, then whenever you break up with them, it's the same as someone that's going through rehab. I need a cigarette. I'm you can call your sister. I'm not gonna harm you. I'm not gonna hurt. I'm not gonna put my hands on you. I, you can call your sister. I tell you, I'm, I don't feel comfortable. I need to go. You can stay. You want to walk the dogs together? You can record whatever it is that you want to record. I'm gonna walk my dogs with you're walking both the dogs and talk to my sister and tell her how uncomfortable i feel right now she's going to go to bed it's well past her bedtime and i hope she picks up. how are you gonna i cannot I've, I've you've known me for 11 years i would never put my hands on you i don't believe you what that's mine those are mine those aren't yours i'm asking just to see you're a text asking. message yes i am you're, you're, no, and you're getting not. really nervous and fidgety i'm not getting nervous i'm feeling very uncomfortable why are you feeling uncomfortable you asked me, I would like, yeah, you could look because I have nothing to hide. You're, you have some, so you have something to hide. You have not actually done that what ever you, in your past. What is it you're hiding? I'm not hiding anything. Then, then hold your phone and let me see what you wrote. Okay, let's go right now. I made her cry. Yeah, because you're, you're cornered. I'm cornered. Yes, you because you're, because you're doing something that's wrong. That's why. Then let me see. Hold your phone and let me see if you're not doing anything wrong. Doing something that's wrong in the fact that you're. Because I, I saw the text messages that I read that you wrote was someone that's a little bit thirsty on your end. Again. It's kind of like, thirsty. yeah, on your end. The harsh reality is when a woman wants to end a relationship, 
She puts herself in position to where she could be a victim. She knows you're angry. She knows you don't want her to leave, but she don't want to be accountable to the text message. But she know if she makes your blood boil and you get mad, you just may do and say something stupid that she can use to get you locked up. The bottom line here is when you start suspecting that the woman is doing something wrong, stay a step ahead of her and start moving out without her noticing. She should be able to come home and the house is just empty and then you block her from everything and move on with your life. That's how you get revenge. You don't sit around and argue because you're only going to get yourself in trouble, whether she's right or wrong. Y'all, I could not see this and not speak on it. The woman you're going to see in the following clip is not just a successful influencer. She is also a mother who's been seeing her daughter's 20 year old ex-girlfriend. At the time, yes, I feel like I was wrong in kissing Trey. That's all I had did at that point was kiss her. When did we get to the point where mothers are messing around with other women, especially daughter's ex-girlfriend? Like, what are we talking about? You know, I didn't feel the need to, to say anything to her about it because it wasn't going to go any further than that at that point. So I felt like it was just, you know, something to happen and just let's leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I feel like my daughter is a spoiled brat and I have gave her a life to where she's never had to want or need for anything. And the mm -hmm. fact that she has went and lied on me and told my life and pretending to make it her life is a problem to me. Absolutely. Do I want to have anything to do with the child that I birthed? No, I do not. It don't matter who I'm with. My relationship with my daughter don't got nothing to do with nobody I'm with, period. Nobody that I'm with have nothing to do with me being a mother. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do, we can still do it. You know what I'm saying? You want me to come chill with you at your house? I can still be a mother to my kid. You know what I'm saying? Well, whoever I'm with. I'm not going to never see her in the street, though. That's what I do know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let that happen. Push came to shove. I'm not going to let her be in the street. She need my hugs, my kisses, my loves. At the end of the day, it is okay. Apparently, I don't know. I got dropped many of times when I was a kid. My mom barely ever... My birth giver has barely ever explained the fact that I guess I was dropped too many times to think that you were messing with my girlfriend and too many times for me to actually ever catch on to the fact that this is what happens when men are not around women completely lose their mind and just do things that emotionally tell them to do it at the end of the day most of the mistakes that women make is all from emotion and at the end of the day they set themselves up to be miserable and if you like the video hit that like button right now definitely share the video and if this was your first time watching hit that subscribe button and just subscribe anyways hit the notification see you on the next video